In the kitchen now with Angie Horgan from the Wisconsin uh, Beef Council. Good to see you, Angie. Good morning. This is a really, well, I'm excited about this recipe. This is one of your kids' too. favorites, it too. It is one of my kids' favorites, and I've done it at their school. I've done cooking classes, and all the kids love it. And it's fun, too, because it gets the kids in the kitchen. And, you know, I'm all about that. If you don't teach them to cook, they're not going to know how. So, exactly. basically, if your kids like tacos and Mexican food, they're going to love this. We're making meatballs, and they've got a little surprise inside and outside. So, they're really something fun and different. So, put me to work. So, we're going to start with a pound of ground chuck. Okay. And then uh, I'll have you work on the toppings. So, what we're going to do is after we make our taco beef nuggets, we're going to roll them in egg white. Okay. So egg white wash and okay. then Dorito chips. Fun. So that's, so that's going to be the crunchy coating. Okay. So we've got two egg whites, which is, this is kind of the way I do it, if that that's works exactly for you. That's exactly how I do it. Okay. All right. And to the ground chuck, I'm going to add two tablespoons of taco seasoning. Okay. And one small can of diced green chilies. So the two ingredients that go in the ground chuck, that is it. I'm just going to lightly mix this. All right. And so these go in a 400 degree oven. Okay. So a little bit hotter oven. Now I've got a. I'm going to crush up the Doritos. This is yes. fun. I grabbed your meat mallet since you're already using that. You but Otherwise, a rolling pin works good, or even your hands just crushing them up in the bag. And I'm always telling people, you know, when you buy a bag of chips and you get to the bottom, and um, sometimes you've got all those little. Save know, it. Yeah, right. yeah. They're great on casseroles. Great in recipes. We want these pretty fine. Yeah, pretty fine. Okay. Then they'll stick nice. I've got my ground beef mixed up nice, and I will make our nuggets. And this, about one pound of ground beef is going to make 16 nuggets, so they're going to be bigger sized meatballs. And then a little surprise inside. And then a surprise inside, a chunk of cheese. Mm. And they sell chunk cheese right in the supermarket. I bought cheese sticks, Kojak, so a marble, and then I just cut them up with Love my it. kitchen shears Love it. into chunks. And I just wash my hands. And so we both gonna, did. And then I, this is a yeah. kind of fun little dipping sauce. This is uh, taco sauce and honey, which I'm going to just heat together in the microwave. And this is going to be kind of the dip for the meatballs, right? Yes. I just bought a, a mild taco sauce. And it's about two parts taco sauce, one part honey. And that just sweetens it up a, a little that bit, I guess? That sweetens it up a little bit. And you just warm it in the microwave. Okay. Now, I was thinking if you wanted a little more kick to these meatballs, instead of the green chilies, you could do jalapenos in there and yes. then you could do pepper jack cheese as, as you know the cheese that you put in yes. the center would be kind of fun. I thought too you could put um, black olives. Oh yeah. Chopped yeah. black olives in with the ground beef Ooh, and the pepper. Yum. Mm, I and, love olives. Uh, I do too. If you can sneak it by the kids or if your kids like them. My kids like green olives. You could try that. All right. So this is, we just heated together the taco sauce and the honey and this is going to go right kind of serve it like on the side so that people can dip. Yes. So I'm kind of flattening these. I've got my cheese chunk in the middle and I'm forming my nugget around and trying to get it nice and encompassed. Okay. So then when they cook, the cheese stays in. And I'll get dipping over here. And the best way to do this is we just, we've got both have real clean hands because it's yeah, really the only way to do it. To so into the egg wash, we roll it. Like you do it at home. Wash your hands good and be gentle with your ground beef. And then we foil lined and sprayed. I foil lined and sprayed a cookie sheet. Which is huge. Roll. Less cleanup. All about that. Preheated the oven temperature, as you said, 400. Mm -hmm. uh, we want these to get nice and crisp and bake. They bake pretty quick, don't they? 20 Angie? minutes. Okay. So Love not bad it. at all. It's a nice, easy Love weeknight it. meal. Serve it with a salad, maybe, and some fruit. I'm really excited about this. Something new and different. So. You can have the kids in the kitchen. You can have one making the nuggets. One smashing the Doritos. One, yeah. Yeah. My five-year-old, that's his job. <laughs> he smashes the Doritos. Delaney rolls the nuggets. That's fun. And then uh, have another one dipping and coating, and you're good to go. Kids always seem to like the meal a little better if they take some ownership. I totally too. agree. Um, and they're proud. Yeah, of they their get meal. excited about it and they want to try it. So I always say start them in the kitchen making sweets, um, you know, and then um, then you know now and then get them into making things like this. The next thing you know, mm -hmm. um, I'll never forget when my daughter I was sautéing portobello mushrooms, and she came up and not only. Uh, uh, 
started helping, proceeded to eat the entire pan of them. Yeah. Um, and it's because we started doing little things like this, kid, more kid-friendly stuff, and all of a sudden, now she's making shrimp scampi for me. So it's, it's crazy how that. Yeah, no, exactly. All right, so there we're we getting down to the end here. Two more. This makes about 16. I think I made mine a little big. but That's all right. Okay. Yeah. So we've got ours in the oven, and we want to show you how they, they look. And really fun, we've got that little nugget of cheese, which is a surprise inside. Yes. All right, we'll do this one last one. Okay. And then bake for 20 minutes. Notice how we're not putting these right next to each other so that they got a little bit of room to brown up and, and have the chips crisp up a little bit. A little bit of space. Okay. And I'm so excited about these, and it smells so good. Mm. All right, excuse me there. I'm going to get our pot holders, get these out of the oven. Oh, yum. Wow. We're just going to, let me get you a little tongs and we can start plating those up. So there you go. How can people get this recipe? They can go to beeftips.com. It's right under As Seen on TV. Okay. Or on <clears throat> beeftips.com, we have, under recipes, we have kid-friendly section. And this recipe will be there, of course. Or you can call us, 1-800-728-BEEF, which is 2333, and we'll mail the recipes free. And then we've got a little toothpick in here, so they're yeah. easy to eat. Very, very fun.